जय हिंद दोस्तों एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल तो ये है लास्ट मिनट रिवीजन ऑफ आवर एफएसएसआई का एग्जाम जो है कल टेक्निकल ऑफिसर के एग्जाम है 2022 मार्च 2022 की दैट इज टू बी हेल्ड ऑन 31st ऑफ मार्च जो कि कल है सो एफएसएसआई के बारे में जितना हम जाने दैट इज द फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करेंगे ट्राई करेंगे 75 क्वेश्चंस रहते हैं नियर अबाउट और ट्राई uh, करेंगे जितना ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस हम सॉल्व कर सकें एग्जाम में भी और यहां पे भी तो हमारा टारगेट रहेगा नियर अबाउट 65 प्लस क्वेश्चंस हम जैसे भी करें सो लेट्स बिगिन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द फर्स्ट सिटी इन इंडिया टू बी अकॉर्डेड द सीएसएफएच टैग बाय एफएसएसआई एफएसएसएआई FSSI, 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 so you have food, food safety and standards authority of India. So, देखते हैं क्या है इसका options Delhi, Mysore, Ahmedabad, Bangalore. So the correct option is Ahmedabad. अभी ये CSFH क्या है? What is the CSFH? It is the project of upgrading the street food facilities. That is the clean street food hub. So ये जो पहला जो था awarded that is the Ahmedabad city. So, moving on to the next question, the provision for a single window system for uh, applying for import clearance. अगर आप की कोई भी चीज बाहर से अगर आप import कर रहे हैं, import कर रहे हैं, that you go, uh, you need to go through uh, some clearance, some clearance at the airport होगा या dock में होगा, तो जो dockyard से जो आते हैं, तो उनको clearance चाहिए होता है. That is the single window system. The provisions for the single window system that is where the options are FSMS, SWIFT, IEC, FOSTAC. So, the correct option is, the correct option, can you guess? Yes, the correct option is SWIFT. So, kya hai SWIFT? That is the single window interface for facilitating trade. That is, means the provision of a single window system provided by the customs to the importer and the custom house agent to apply for import clearance. And it is a part of the ease of doing business. That is, Ease of doing business, हम जो business करते हैं, उसके एक provision है, it is the initiative by the Central Board of Exercise and Customs Government of India has taken up implementation of the single window project to facilitate trading across borders. अब ये next जो कुछ कुछ provisions हैं, जैसे कि FSMS, IEC, POSTEC, वो सब क्या हैं, थोड़ा देख लेते हैं. So, the FSMS, that is the Food Safety Management System. So, what is this? All about it is a set of systems that are interrelated, that are interrelated and which, when used in combination, ensure that food is safe for human consumption. Human consumption, if you have a specific food, if you have chocolate, if that chocolate is safe for the human consumption, that is to be governed by FSMS, that is Food Safety Management System. I am repeating Food Safety, uh, safety Management System. हम जल्दी जल्दी इस टॉपिक सबको खत्म करना चाहेंगे क्योंकि टुडे इज द लास्ट डे एंड दिस इज अ क्विक रिवीजन ऑफ ऑल द थिंग्स इट इज द होल टॉपिक आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग नाउ विल बी रिगार्डिंग द रोल सम ऑफ द इनिशिएटिव्स दैट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव्स ऑफ एफएसएसएसआई एफएसएसएआई सो ध्यान से देखिए दैट वुड श्योरली हेल्प यू इन द टुमारो एग्जाम सो प्लीज स्टे ट्यून्ड विद मी so, sorry for some uh, background noise. Uh, so, it incorporates some uh, gross manufacturing process practices, that is the GMP, good hygiene practices, good hygiene practices ke liye ki, usko bhi GHP, or hazard analysis and critical uh, control point, that is the HACCP and some other laid down by FSS. These are all important. It incorporates this uh, GMP, GHP and HACCP. That is under the FSMS program. Uh, next is IEC Importer Export Report. Jo bhi import export hota hai, that is usually given a uh, specific identification number. That is mandatory. It is not voluntary or optional. It is mandatory for the exports or imports. Next is the FOSTAC. FOSTEC is the Food Safety Training and Certification. It is a large skill training program for food business operators. All food businesses having central license or state license should have at least one trained and certified food safety supervisor for every 25 food handlers or part thereof in all promises. So let's uh, proceed to the next question. The third question says to promote safe and healthy food, FSSAI has launched a training toolkit for health under the scheme of what? 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज आयुष्मान भारत तो यहाँ आयुष्मान भारत के अंतर्गत वी हैव बीन गिवन 1.5 लाख वेलनेस सेंटर्स अंडर द आयुष्मान भारत स्कीम प्राइमरी हो गए सेकेंडरी हेल्थ केयर हो गए टर्शरी हेल्थ केयर हो गए और इसमें एक बहुत बड़ा टूल किट है दैट इज द ईट राइट टूल किट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू विल रीड अबाउट ऑल दिस इन द सक्सेडिंग वीडियोज ऑल्सो so let's proceed forward to promote safe and healthy food fssa has launched a training toolkit for under aishwarya bharat to kya kahe jago grahak jago you have you might have seen the ads tv ads aate hain jago grahak jago ko it is the under the ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution our swachh bharat department of drinking water and sanitation ministry of jal shakti so moving on to the next question as per the fss regulation displaying fssa license or registration number at the food premises is is it optional mandatory non obligatory or voluntary so the correct option is mandatory mandatory certification means a form of mandatory conformity by the certification body of compliance of objects of technical regulation jo mandatory hai maine aapko dikhana hi dikhana hai voluntary you can show you can optional optional also let that is it is a voluntary action it is optional it is up to you for fortified food using the tag land whole nutrition healthy living below the logo is what is it mandatory optional binding essential you know every package of the fortified food whatever fortified fortified what is food fortification that is adding nutrients so food fortification should carry the word fortified with dash 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 kuch bhi hoga name of the fortificant whatever is added and the logo specified in schedule 2 of the food safety and standards fortification of foods regulation told us in it it is very much important use of tag land whole nutrition healthy living below the optional logo is optional so the correct option is optional moving on to the next slide हाँ तो यहाँ पे और एक चीज है द फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया एफ एस एस एआई हैज अनवेल्ड अ लोगो फॉर फोर्टिफाइड फूड्स तो कैसे दिखाते हैं एस लोगो कैसे दिखता है अगर मैं बोल दूं आपको तो लोगो ऐसा एक स्क्वायर जैसा होता है और उस पर एफ लिखा होता है और विथ अ प्लस साइन विथ अ प्लस साइन एंड अ रिंग दिस इज द साइन ऑफ अ फोर्टिफाइड फूड Are you getting the point? What is that? The food fortification and enrichment is the process of adding micronutrients, that is, essential trace elements and vitamins, into the food. The FSSI has also constituted a panel on food fortification and nutrition to identify critical nutrition gaps in the Indian diet in general and also specifically. The 11-member panel will frame final regulation on fortification of foods. Panel बैठती हैं, they that will regulate, they will decide what will be the fortification, what will be the uh, additional or essential trace element we should add to address the malnutrition problem so one my, my question is one of the question is malnutrition sdg goals mein kaun sa number wale goals mein hai sdg that is the sustainable development goals so whatever we are doing it is for the achievement of the sdgs sustainable development goals so just in me just write it down in the comment section what is the sdg goals for malnutrition over and out so some of the initiatives let's uh, get a, get a brief introduction or a brief uh, uh, thing about what are the initiatives by fssa so the first is heart attack main thoda jaldi isliye kar raha hu kyunki we have to hame uh, har concept ko touch karna hai thoda thoda jaise ki last time revision ho sake abhi yahan pe time nahi hai ki we would uh, indulge all inside it to get a full overview to hame sab topics ko cover karna hai jaldi jaldi hum dekh lenge overlook karke jayenge question would be uh, moderate to average level so itna difficult nahi rahega so be prepared so some of the initiatives by fssa this is very much important i can bet you there were there would be one to two questions to in tomorrow exam so best of luck for that so heart attack remind it is the first mass media campaign of uh, campaign of fssa it is aimed to support fssa target of eliminating trans fat so the the key point here is the eliminating trans fat the transport ki kitni limit hone chahiye 25% should be the maximum limit of the trans fat okay so clean street food we we have uh, we have seen in the in the first question also fssa chiefs it is a collaboration between fssai and cii confederation of industrial uh, iske full form aap mujhe agar bata sakte hain cii in the comment section that would be very much 
uh, appreciable CIA. What is the full form of? I have to, I have uh, told you a little bit. I have told you confederation of kya hai wo? The CIHUL, Hindustan Unilever Limited, hai. initiatives on food safety sciences to promote collaboration between industry, scientific community, academy, or uh, for food safety. Swastha Bharat Yatra. It is a pan India. This is a pan India moment. Cycle movement uh, called Eat Right India aimed to create consumer awareness about eating safe and nutritious food. So it is very much important. SNF, safe and nutritious food. Javik Bharat portal. Javik Bharat portal, what it says? Regulatory portal on organic food. Organic food in India. Developed by FSSI, APADA, and PGS India. Uh, food fortification resource center has been established by FSSI with the help of Tata Trust. Uh, Tata Ji Har Jaga Hai, Amar Saath. Diet for Life, this is another initiative taken by FSSI to spread awareness about metabolic disorders. Save food, share food, share joy, encourage people to donate food instead of throwing it away. So, if you don't want the food, just give it to the people. Share it, share the food, save the food, share joy, isn't it? The food, the food authority comprises of 22 members of which women shall make up to the correct option is one third. So, as per the conventions or kaise, matlab, uh, authority ki structure kaise hogi? So, as per section 5 of the FSS Act, the food uh, authority should consist of a chairperson, a chairperson honnechi, and 22 members out of which one third should be women. So, chairperson hongi. Chairperson plus 22 members, out of which one third women. The so women clearly has specific kidney space. The food authority is the apex body and single reference point on uh, all matters related to the food safety and standards. So these are all the things. Out of the 22 mem members, seven ex officio members, ex officio members represent the ministries of central government like agriculture, okay, commerce, okay. so here are all experienced local here. Uh, once again, sorry for the background noise, but what do we do? Here is construction of the So I can't avoid uh, this uh, random noises, so extremely sorry for that, just clear that for some time. Okay. Proceeding on to the next question, seventh question. Authority is jointly responsible for the implementation and enforcement of FSSA, Food Safety and Security Act 2006. So, FSSAI and state authorities. So, here the correct option is the state food authorities. As for the provisions of MMPO, a, a person or a daily plan needs to be registered with the registering authority appointed by the central government if. MMPO. What is the MMPO? MMPO is the milk, milk and milk produce, milk and milk product, or product order. MMPO. So, what are the provisions? Hai? What should be the things? What should be the things? As for the provisions of MMPO, a person or dairy plant needs to register with the registering authority. Uh, appointed by the central government if any person or dairy plant is handling more than 10,000 more than 10,000 liters uh, per day of milk are you getting and it is under the under the provision of the essential commodities act 1955 subsequent to the delicensing of the dairy sector in 1991 so provisions hai. this is very much important so we should we should get into the things the, this is very important question. The navy blue color code of food safety display board is for blue, red, green, yellow, pura, rainbow. Bana dete hai. So what would be the correct option? You can see over here. See the navy blue. Navy blue. Kaha hai navy blue hamara? This is the no. This is blue. This is navy blue. Purple. Purple is for what is the what is the, the decoding food safety display board? What are the color codes for different types of food business? Purple is for restaurant, red is for meat retail, purple is for street food, brown is for liquor, liquor jam, sharab, madira, turquoise, it is uh, turquoise color, ye to, ye to bar uh, that is for manufacturing, green is for fruit and vegetable, we all know, blue is for milk retail, grey is for retail stuff, navy blue is for transport and distribution, yellow is for storage. So what would be the correct option? Transport and distribution. Okay. Moving on to the next question. 
FFS re FSS regulations on health supplements 2016 and nutraceuticals prohibit what psychotropic psychotropic substances the basic regulatory control of chemical contaminants in food are laid down in what the correct option is FSS FSS contaminants uh, toxins and residues regulation act so this is the thing third option contaminants are the substances either added to food or not intentionally added to the food in order the process of their production including operations carried on in crop husbandry animal husbandry veterinary medicine so all such these are the things an indication of the expiry should not be required for an indication of the expiry is not required for all of this the correct option is all of this so kya kya kahan kahan cheez pe expiry should not be required fresh fruit and vegetables including potato which have been peeled which have not been peeled cut or similarly treated all types of wines alcoholic beverages vinegar uh, sugar boiled confectionery uh, food grade salt for industrial use solid sugars chewing gums and bubble gum to balu 13 question number 13 the advantage of third party third party private auditing includes to reduce the regulatory to reduce the regulatory uh, food safety inspections conducted by the central or the state government so this is the thing of the third party this is very much important questions you just uh, write it down and note it down take a screenshot screenshot religion this is very much important questions question number 14 online service namely the food product approval system is developed to kya kyun ye food approval uh, food product approval system banaya tha to develop to identify if a product requires approval from fssa so the correct option is two as for food safety and standards approval for non-specified food and food ingredients uh, rule regulation 2017 okay third party private auditing of fbo food business operator will what will they require sorry will reduce the food safety would reduce the food safety inspection conducted by licensing ifs quick access is a system developed by what is ifs quick system uh, quick access system is developed by whom FSSI, FS is the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, it developed IFS, QA, QA means quick access, it facilitates the user to access information regarding, regarding kya? food specific quality, uh, quality standards, permitted food additives, hierarchical food category, metal contaminants, pesticide residues, microbiological contaminants, all of the things, so ye kya? yes. Which of the following book contains quick test for detection of food adulterants at the household? So, kuch kuch book pata hai, color wale, rangin book banai hai nune, orange, pink, yellow, dart book. So, the correct option is dart book. Dart means detect adulteration with rapid test. Booklet is a compilation of common quick test for detection of food adulterants at households. So, this is the thing. So, all kuch kuch alag alag book, orange, yellow, uh, blue ke bar mein hum jane, thoda thoda jane lete hain. Kya nahi jane? Ake jane na chahiye. The yellow book, yellow book kya hote hain? Yellow book joh humara hai, yeh rakho yellow book. The yellow book is an interactive and illustrative, easy to understand guide that becomes an important tool for parents, teachers and students. This book serves as a ready uh, reconnoir for that includes uh, material for classroom narrative lectures as well as laboratory practice or exercise. So this is very important things. Let's go to the next question. Question number 1818. Dash launch RUCO. RUCO. What is RUCO? Repurpose used cooking oil initiated to enable collection and conversion of used cooking oil to biodiesel. So, kya hoga option? Hamara, hai hoga? FSSA. Ar FSSA ke baare mein padh rahe hain, to FSSA hi hoga na? Ruko. Ruko. Iske baare mein hum padhenge. Iske baare mein in the next lecture we will discuss about Ruko. What is Ruko? Repurpose used cooking oil. Question number 19. Food authority comprises of? Ye to hum abhi hum ne padha tha. One chairperson and 22 members. Hmm. Matter, I mean, tumne kaha tha. Question number 20. 20 question number dekhte hain. Dash comprises of food safety service conducted by FSSA or state food authorities. So what is the option? 
two types of surveillance activities are carried out by fss active surveillance and passive surveillance active surveillance kya hota hai active surveillance yahan pe both honge active surveillance comprises food safety surveys conducted by fss or the state food authorities it provides the most accurate and timely data on food safety parameters such type of surveillance include national level surveillance state specific surveillance seasonal specific special surveillance during festivals commodity surveillance specific surveillance etc a pacific uh, ya yeah, passive not pacific passive surveillance kya hai system by which fsa receives report from fbos fbos kya hai humne abhi padha tha fbos ye dekhiye fbos 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 food business operator so sir everything is correlated you need to read all the things so fbos or other resources हॉस्पिटल्स हो गए मेडिकल केयर हो गए रिसर्च हो गए ऑन कॉन्टेमिनेंट्स इन फूड प्रोडक्ट्स सो दिस इज अ थिंग हु कैरीज आउट द सर्वे ऑफ द फूड इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट इन द स्टेट फॉर कंप्लायंस टू स्टेट स्टैंडर्ड नोटिफाइड बाय द फूड अथॉरिटीज फॉर वेरियस आर्टिकल्स ऑफ द फूड तो कौन भाई कौन करते हो तुम इसमें से कौन करते हो तुम बताओ कौन होगा इसमें बताओ 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 who carries out the survey of the food industrial unit in the state for compliance to standards notified by the food authority for various articles of the food this is a very easy question just think of it and sir the answer will be the commissioner of food safety next question dash shall be legal representative of the food authority क्या होगा सीईओ कमिश्नर फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर या फूड एनालिस्ट कौन होगा लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव कौन होते हैं द आंसर इज सीईओ कमिश्नर ऑफिसर्स एंड फंक्शन कमिश्नर ऑन फूड सिक्योरिटी सेफ्टी कैरी आउट ये क्या 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 सब है तो ये क्या होगा ऑप्शन बताइए मुझको तो कमिश्नर ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी का क्या काम है कैरी आउट सर्वे ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट्स एंगेज्ड इन द मैन्युफैक्चर एंड प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द फूड इन द स्टेट टू फाइंड आउट कंप्लेंस बाय विच बाय सच यूनिट्स ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड्स नोटिफाइड बाय द फूड अथॉरिटी फॉर वेरियस आर्टिकल्स ऑफ द फूड एडजुडिकेटिंग ऑफिसर का क्या काम है लुकिंग इनटू ऑफेंसेस कमिटेड ऑफ द प्रोविजंस ऑफ द एक्ट एंड रूल्स ऑफेंस के लिए फूड एनालिस्ट एनालाइज करते हैं फूड सैंपल्स को डेजिग्नेटेड ऑफिसर के मेंटेन अ रिकॉर्ड 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 का काम है क्या रिकॉर्ड रखते हैं अब इंस्पेक्शन मेड बाय द फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर्स एंड एक्शन तो ये ये तो नहीं होंगे ये तो नहीं होंगे ये भी नहीं होंगे तो कौन होंगे सीईओ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू रिगार्डिंग कमिश्नर ऑफ द फूड सेफ्टी ऑफ स्टेट फूड ऑथोरिटी तो क्या है वही है क्वेश्चन और क्या prohibit in public health interest the manufacture storage the commissioner of the food safety of food state food has the power to prohibit in public interest the manufacture storage distribution or sale of any the whole of the year as per the section 30 of fsc it's a very theoretical thing the state government requires the commissioner of the food not below the rank of commissioner of food safety to the state government for efficient implementation of the food fssa a 24 question 24 number question ka dash committees have responsibility for developing standards for food specific food or classes of food to kaun hai bhai to me se kaun ho wo that is the commodity committee commodity committee the maximum age limit for the chairperson of the uh, food authority is 62 years so 62 years honge sorry uh, 65 years 62 to period from a maximum 65 years for chairperson 62 Years for the member. It is the for the chairperson. The chairperson के लिए 65 है. Members के लिए 62. The Maharashtra Agro Industries Development Corporation Limited promotes what it promotes. It promotes the modernization of agro sector via mechanization. So देखते हैं कब founded. It was founded in 15th of December 1965 to promote modernization of agro sector through mechanization. so these are the things which is uh, over there so bahut hi important important things humne dekhe abhi tak aage bhi dekhte hain kya hai what was the drawing inspiration of the swasth bharat yatra which is a part of the eat right india campaign eat right india campaign sahi khao ganda mat khao acha khao to kya hai 
कहा से ये इंस्पिरेशन ली दे इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम महात्मा गांधी सोल्ट मार्च तो सोल्ट मार्च गांधी जी के सोल्ट मार्च से लॉन्च नेशनल प्रोग्राम स्वस्थ भारत यात्रा हो